Northeast Australia is protected from the pounding of the sea by the greatest barrier reef in the world. Millions and millions of tiny coral polyps have, with their calcareous skeletons, helped form a barrier of 348,700 square kilometers, a structure so incredible that it can be seen from space as a beautiful white line in the blue immensity of the ocean. The Great Barrier Reef, whose formation began 25 billion years ago, houses the most diverse ecosystem on our planet. It is not an ecosystem rich in nutrients, but every corner, every nook and cranny, every opportunity provided by the intricate labyrinth of coral becomes an ecological niche taken advantage of by thousands of exclusive species. The 2,500 reefs that make up the Great Barrier Reef in Australia form a stable ecosystem that has maintained continuity over extremely long periods of time. For thousands of years, only gradual changes have altered this submarine world, and the result of this situation is unprecedented biodiversity. constitute the oldest natural communities on our planet. It is a deceptive world of disconcerting colors and shapes, where there are plants that look like animals, and animals that could easily be mistaken for plants. They all depend on each other, and fish and invertebrates take advantage of everything they can obtain from their neighbors. Here, among the infinite nooks and crannies of over 400 different species of coral, life multiplies in each and every one of its types. From tiny single-cell algae that live in symbiosis with the polyps, to marine mammals and powerful hunters of the sea that occupy the top of the food pyramid. All this explosion of life, this entire range of incredible biodiversity, is the result of an evolutionary continuity unaltered for millions of years. The reward for constancy, the patent demonstration of the biological potential of our planet. But starting just a few years ago, this biological continuity has suddenly been altered and what appeared to be an unchangeable world has seen its ancient foundations crumble. The corals of the Great Barrier Reef have begun to bleach. Some external factor is killing the polyps, interrupting the growth and renewal of the reefs. And if the polyps are not renewed, the entire ecosystem simply dies. All the biodiversity of the ecosystem is based on the most delicate, tiny organisms of the reef, the coral polyps. These small architects are responsible for the construction and renovation of the Great Barrier Reef, and for this they produce over 100 million tons of calcium carbonate a year. This production serves to repair the inevitable wear and tear of acting as a break on the sea, and generates sufficient limestone to construct 17 pyramids like that of Giza. But in order for the polyps to construct their fabulous calcareous armor plating, they need the zoosanthellae, single-cell algae that live inside them and thanks to which they are able to feed.
The Sushanthale represented here by the brown spheres are vital for the growth of the corals, but they have a problem. They are incredibly sensitive to changes in temperature, and that is where our contamination comes in. The global warming of the atmosphere caused by contaminating gases is heating up the water of the seas. This increase kills the Sushanthale, causing the death of the corals. And without corals, the coasts of northeast Australia will be left defenseless against the brutal pounding of the waves. <laughs> <laughs> 